I am an unconventional traveler. I have uh, visited almost every continent, but when I look back to the pictures of the trips I have done, what remains in my heart is not about the places, but about the people. Born in other countries, grown up in other cultures, maybe even speaking other languages. I remember their faces, their stories, and the experiences we shared. What I didn't like was that I needed so much time to travel, to get to the places, and it was so little time left to spend with the people. Today, thanks to globalization, I can get the best of travel without using any transport, meeting foreigners here where I live. Well, I'm uncommon, I know. I'm not sure if that's the word, but I use it because it seems, it sounds neutral to me. Being different can be described with a lot of synonyms. Some are nice and some are not. It's not the same interesting than unusual, extraordinary than weird. Any of this has a connotation given by the speaker. When they say you're special, it means that they like you. And when they say you're strange, it means that they don't understand you. They are talking about their opinions, not about you. The problem is that when we hear one of these words a lot of times, we risk using it to define ourselves. Do you think it's good to be different? A part of me agrees with you. Do you think it's bad? A part of me agrees with you, too. I'm going to tell you my story so you can understand why is it so important for me. It's about how I have experienced my diversity and my curiosity, how I have managed others' opinions, and how I have learned that being yourself can be hard, but not doing it can be even worse. When I was a little girl, I was always an outsider. I was living in Madrid, while my family was from Seville. And when I was in Madrid, I was the one from Seville. But when I was in Seville, I was the one from Madrid. We didn't even live in different countries or speak different languages, but I was always treated as the old one out. As I couldn't have the real life I wanted, I started looking for it in books, movies, songs. I have learned a lot from their stories. I have virtually lived a lot of lives and met uh, interesting characters, but it wasn't enough. They couldn't listen to me or offer me a hug when I needed it. So I felt so lonely. Inside of me, there's still a little girl that feels strange and wrong, and she wants me to hide because she thinks life is like Michael Jackson's song, a thriller. When I was a teenager, everything became easier because I was a rebel. Maybe they said I had to change, but I didn't listen, I didn't care. I even played the icebreaker when my shyer friends needed an extra dose of courage. And it was... I, I felt I could be strong and I could help others. And it was, I felt as if I was born to do that. Inside of me, there's still a part uh, that feels like that. She's funny, she wants me to play. And uh, to not to think about consequences, her song is uh, Cindy Lauper's Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. But when I was 17, they said I had to grow up and standardize. And I believed I had to follow every rule and every convention. For years, I tried 
to wear, to speak, to behave as expected. All I wanted to do was to be one of them. But I wasn't. I even left my country to look for a place where I wasn't a different one. But I didn't find it. I was uh, wearing a mask, even if they didn't notice. The most I tried, the most I knew I was a fake. I was wearing this mask, this armor, so heavy that it grounded me. And the part of me still thinks I am. I have to change because I am unacceptable like this. Her song is Freddie Mercury's "The Great Pretender." Then, when I was 35, my house of cards broke down. I got divorced, fired. And I lost almost everything my mask was built for. I was so disoriented that I called all my parts together to decide what to do next. The little girl and the great pretender wanted to have more power in the decision because they said they represented a lot of voices. But the teenager said, "I represent your inner voice and your gift." And I'm the only one that has made you feel genuinely happy. So I decided to follow her, to follow my passion, and build my life around the things I love: people of all ages, languages, teaching, sharing, and helping others. And in that moment, I found that there was a lot of people, somehow, some like me. I didn't see them before because they were feeling different and trying to hide. But when I stood up, they saw me, and they sprouted like mushrooms. That's how I have discovered the fourth part of me that I didn't notice before, and she is a leader. She is courageous, curious, and flexible. She listens to everybody, and then she decides what she thinks is best. And she does. Her song is Frank Sinatra's "My Way." Well, lately I am a very active person in the communities I belong to, like my neighborhood, and uh, like couch surfing, the um, community of people that wants to travel and socialize, where I have realized that I can travel all the world, hosting people in my house instead of. Moving myself, and so I know a lot of people, and I'm something of a reference point for languages issues. So when they want to locals and foreigners want to find someone to do some conversation in English or in Spanish, they ask me if I know someone. I started referring them to each other, but soon I had more requests than people I knew, and I thought. There would be a lot of people like my friends here in Turin and in every medium or big city in the world. I imagined all these people studying languages and desiring to practice them, and foreigners desiring to exchange their native languages with local ones. It was a huge community that needed a place to meet. That's why I have created a website. It's designed to connect people that want to practice languages where they are, where they live, without the barriers of virtual communication, because I think there is less, less energy exchange and less fewer possibilities. You just have to sign up, introduce yourself, say which language you want to speak. And where do you live? And the website will show you if there are others to talk to. It will draw a map, so around you where you are, so you can find someone to start a linguistic tandem. I can exchange my Spanish with your French, or 
events to participate in. We are just a little, but we are growing and spreading. And we have discovered that our passion for languages is a sign of our curiosity and our open-mindedness. To show how it works, we are hosting a Wednesday event to practice languages and socialize. And it's wonderful to see how people join and make friends and improve language skills and feel like one of us from the very first time. Sometimes they want to talk to me, they call me the boss. Because I'm the person that started this, And they made me feel in, uh, different in a brand new way. They make me feel important. Well, the language exchange meeting is a success because of the people that participate, but it exists because I, of, I have the idea. I have found a pair of, a couple of uh, supporters that helped me to make it real. And we didn't throw the towel during the difficult initial moments. Well, this is me. It's a chaos of parts and echoes of voices. I'm complicated and rich. I'm different. But different from who? We all are different. Even twins. I want to finish my message with two requests for you. If you are considered normal, if you are not finger-pointed each time you move, great, you can help. When you see someone that is feeling different, don't try to correct them, please. If they are different, there is a reason. Protect them and help them to find it. And if you are like me, if you know what I'm talking about, and sometimes you wonder if it's better to try to hide or fit in. Remember that being different can be a weakness or a strength, and it depends only on you. Be yourself. Express yourself. At the beginning, it's hard, I know. But each time it becomes easier, believe me. As I have created a whole new world out of my diversity, you can do the same with yours. It's your journey. Amaze us with something new that only you can do. And then come here and give a talk to all of us. Well, I finish with another one more song. Remember Sting when he sings, be yourself, no matter what they say. Thank you.